from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. I'm Janet Elber, and I'm the artistic director of the Martha Graham Dance Company. And it's an important anniversary because the company has hit its 90th anniversary season. We've been curating the Graham legacy, and a big part of that curation has been the uh, commissioning of new work. The classics bring a certain context to the new work, and the new work brings fresh eyes to the Graham Classics. So there's a real conversation going on. My name is Pontus. I'm a choreographer and a filmmaker, and I'm creating a new piece for the Martha Graham Dance Company. Martha Graham was part of a movement in all the art forms to sort of find our country's own voice. She took America's frontierism and created a new forceful style of dance. It was so influential that around the world today, directors and choreographers, even if they don't know it, have built upon techniques that Martha Graham pioneered. I can't even say all the influence Martha Graham's had on me because it's probably more than I can name. But for example, the first contemporary dance schooling I had was Graham technique. Her movement is very um, percussive, uh, geometric, based on her famous contraction and release, which comes from the center of the body, uh, from the torso. She was also interested in sculpting the space. This was part of her revolution, to not just dance on an empty stage. In particular, in her work with Isamu Noguchi, the Noguchi sets, of course, would create pathways for Martha, would, would create different levels that she could use. The emotional message of her work uh, was not only in the movement of the dancers, but in the overall look of the stage. The relationship with the Library of Congress began when one of the first men in Martha's company wrote to the library and got them interested in commissioning new works with some of the top composers of the day. Aaron Copland, Hindemith, Chavez, Mio, just a remarkable series of commissions. And for our 90th anniversary season, the library has proposed that we choose a choreographer who will then choose some of the music of Irving Fine. Irving Fine was a contemporary of Aaron Copland. In fact, he was at the premiere of Appalachian Spring at the library. Um, so Pontus Lidberg agreed to this challenge to take music from the mid-20th century and make a 21st century piece. I was asked to create a new dance to the music of Irving Fine, and I'm using the Noturna for strings and harp. To work with a mid-century artist like Irving Fine, I thought it was important to also put a contemporary comment into the creation. So I chose the Noturna and expanded it by reordering the music into a cyclical structure rather than a linear one. You can always put in a comment. You can always be in relation to the music rather than being literal about it. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes I will give an impetus and then I will see what the dancers do with that impetus and start guiding them. And uh, it's more fun for me because that way their personality is really part of the creative process. And, and the Graham dancers are, I mean, virtuose in what they do. These dancers are not afraid to express. With their faces and their bodies, they go for it. It gives me a lot to work with. My understanding of Irving Fine is he is someone who made a synthesis of various ideas throughout his career. 
He was very much interested in neoclassicism, but also serial music. He explored different modalities. And so, in a way, you could say that the Graham Company commissioning me to create something to his music is also a synthesis of different ideas in different times. The Library of Congress has a long history of commissioning dance and music, and uh, they have a long history with Martha Graham. So, I, mean, I feel very honored to be part of this tradition. It's just a wonderful bridge to the commissions of the past, to one that's today in the 21st century. We're going to premiere Pontus's work, of course, at the Library of Congress, and then it will be part of our New York season on April 18th, which is the date 90 years ago when Martha Graham had her first concert in New York City. It's the Martha Graham Dance Company's actual 90th birthday. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.